Right, okay, next I've got here is uh, the 1978 album Hemispheres. Um, this album came out in 1978, um, which is this one here. Um, I've actually got uh, four copies of this album. This particular one here is the standard black vinyl, um, which is the first album, to my knowledge, that actually has um, a, a proper label, which is in the Rush style, as opposed to just a normal Mercury label, as you can see there. You see the two brains. Okay, um, so this is, um, I think that was the first for the band as well. Um, as I say, that's actually the first album of four that I've got. Um, all four albums that I've got are totally different, um, which I'll show you in just a moment. Uh, the second one, which I'm sure a lot of you will probably have, this is a red vinyl copy, um, which I managed to get off of eBay um, back in 2003, I think, um, for about £20 as well, which I was really chuffed to get. Um, so I'll just quickly show you that one as well, which is fantastic looking record. There you go. That's the, the red vinyl version there. Okay, um, when I first got this, um, it's the first coloured vinyl album that I actually got, um, and when I saw it for the first time I was thinking, wow, that's beautiful. Um, and then, um, you know, that's what really made me think, right, I need to go out and buy the rest of the, rest of the, the back catalogue as well. Okay, so... Moving on, uh, this is the, another album. Now, by looking at this, there's nothing odd about it at all. Um, the only thing I would say which is different from any other album in my whole collection is that this particular copy is a mispressing and it actually um, plays side two of the album on both sides. So that's the difference on that one. And finally, the fourth copy of this album that I've got is the trusty picture disc, which is this one here. There you go. Quickly take it out there. There we are. Um, it's basically looking like the same on both sides. Um, the actual picture is exactly the same, as you can see. Uh, the only thing that you can determine which side is which, because it does actually say side one and side two on it. Okay, moving on. Um, the next album in Rush's discography was the album that was recorded in 1979 that was actually the very first album to actually be released in the 1980s. It was actually released on the 1st of January 1980 and it's called Permanent Waves. Um, basically, um, there's a few copies of this album going about. Um, this particular one, if I turn it around here and show you, if you look at the headline on the newspaper it says Dewey defeats Truman. Uh, now basically there was a slight controversy with this album cover when the album first came out. Um, basically the Chicago Tribune newspaper who um, originally printed that newspaper um, were quite embarrassed about that um, headline because um, back in 1948 um, when uh, Truman, uh, Harry Truman was uh, President of the United States. Um, in the 1948 uh, election, um, it looked like uh, his opponent, Dewey, uh, was going to defeat him. Um, so basically, before the polls closed, uh, the newspaper um, went and printed the, the newspaper showing as Dewey defeats Truman, because at that time, Dewey was winning in the polls. Uh, but unbeknown to the newspaper, um, uh, Harry Truman actually uh, pulled back a last minute victory so he actually was still the president and um, it's still a bit of a sore point for the the newspaper even today so that's why they had asked for that um, the headline to be removed so you will find some copies out there that do actually have the headline omitted but I've actually got this copy that does still have it on so it's fairly rare Okay, and that's the only one copy of that album I've got. Um, moving on to the next album. Um, I've got three copies of, which is Moving Pictures. Here we are. Okay, and as I said, I've actually got three copies of this one. 
Um, believe it or not, this one of these albums, I think it was actually this one, um, was the very first Rush album that I'd ever bought in my life. Um, I bought this back in 1988 when I first got into Rush. Um, I was only 13 years old at the time and my friend and I bought, got a bus trip to Edinburgh one day and um, we went into HMV and I bought that album. So I'm quite proud to say that that was my, my first Rush album and in actual fact it still remains my favourite Rush album to this day. Okay, moving on to the next album which was actually Rush's second live album. This came out in 1981 which is Exit Stage Left. Okay. Um, this album here, I've got two copies of as well. <laughs> okay, exactly the same. Um, I bought one and acquired a second one. Um, the only reason that I've got more than one copy of some of the albums is um, with people um, tending to know that I'm a big Rush collector. Um, they, a lot of people have come up to me and says, um, "You're a Rush collector, aren't you?" And I'm going, "Yeah." Um, well, I've got a Russia I've got a couple of Rush albums at home you can have them um, I don't I don't want them anymore so I'm like yeah I'll take it so um, that's how I usually end up with more copies of an album than I really should really need um, however moving on to the next album which is uh, the next studio album in Russia's uh, discography which is signals okay um, basically Again, I've got two copies of this as well. Um, these are slightly different. I think one is the British version and the other one is American or Canadian version. I'm not entirely sure which. Okay. That's that one. Okay, moving on to the next Rush album. Uh, this one came out in 1984 uh, called Grace Under Pressure. Okay, here we are. Voila. I've actually got three copies of this album and all three of them seem to be totally different. I'll show you the difference in the three of them at the moment. Uh, this was the first of the three that I bought. Uh, now this one shows as the Mercury label. Okay. And the very odd thing about this one is, if I turn it over the back and you can see the picture of Geddy, Alex and Neil there. Right. Now if you look along the top, there's no track listing. Which is, and it's the same at the bottom as well, there's just no track listing on that whatsoever which I think is a very rare thing to have. Um, so that is one copy. Uh, the other two copies that I have, again, are different. Now, again, that's one of them. And on the back of it, that one does actually show the track listing along the top. Uh, the difference in this one being that this is Mercury. Okay. But my third one is this one. Voila. And this one isn't actually on the Mercury label. This one's on the Vertigo label, which is again unusual. So, um, you know, three different copies of the same album. What can I say? <laughs> um, going on to the next album, which is 1985's uh, Power Windows album. Um, basically, two copies of this as well. The first of which is just the standard issue there, which is, uh, you know, I think that was the UK one, which is also on the Vertigo label, this one. And then I've also got the picture of this version of this album as well, which I don't know if a lot of you have actually seen. Um, however, there it's there. And I'll just take it out. There we go. Lovely. And on the other side is, like, basically the back, al the back cover of the album as well. Okay. You can see it there. So, again, another nice thing to have in my collection. Moving on, um, next one here I've got is uh, Hold Your Fire, which came out in 1987. So um, this is actually one of my favourite album covers. Um, it's very, very simple, yet, you know, very dynamic. And it's basically this one here, the three red balls. Okay, uh, again, I've got two copies of this album. Um, now, one of those is the UK one. This one's the UK one, which has the uh, Vertigo label on it, as you can see there. And the second one, which I think is the Canadian uh, import, has the Anthem record label, uh, the Anthem label on it. Okay. 